Guys, the video you're about to watch is all about this IMO switch. I'm Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. I'm a licensed electrician and solar installer in Northeast Georgia. My contact information is at the beginning and the end of the video. All right, guys, so we're up here wiring these solar arrays. Boom. And I uh, thought I'd show you a little bit about the IMO switch. This is what you get. Also got a piece of paper telling you about it. This is all the positions of the switch. I'll have more on that later though. The main thing you don't want to do when you open the switch is lose the screws that are supposed to be in here. There they are. Do not lose those screws or you will not be able to screw your switch onto the housing. And they're easy to lose. Now what you get when you order one of these, if it's you've ordered the enclosed switch, you can actually just order this too. And it mounts on a piece of DIN rail. But if you order this switch and you order it as the enclosed version, once again, there's a bunch of different switches here. But you get that and then you get the enclosure. And the enclosure consists of the, the little knob that's lockable in the off position. And it's got a gasket. I'll tell you the, I think it's IP rating. It's not, not a NEMA rating. And then you get a You get the back part but you know the enclosure i'm not crazy about but i do have about 100 of these out here and i get emails from imo all the time telling me that they've got millions in use and they are not failing this is the switch that is on the side of most of the solar edge inverters or on the front of the solar edge inverters this is on a ton of inverters and really for what it does being able to switch for 25 amp poles or two strings of solar you just cannot beat it for the price and uh, it's a good switch. Just be careful because it is what I refer to as a crossover switch. More on that later. So the first thing I do is drill my two three quarter holes in the bottom of the box. I drill my two holes for my quarter 20 uh, bolts and my channel nuts. Those are channel nuts. You can get them at Home Depot for Unistrut. Put up my piece of thin strut, put it up against there. And then I check where it's gonna go, make my holes, make my three quarter holes there. Mire sub with a chase nipple. Boom. So the main thing I want you guys to understand with this switch, that when I'm doing it in this configuration, or when you're using the switch, the one goes to the two, the three goes to the four, the five to the six, and the seven to the eight. But don't be like David Paws one of his videos he makes the mistake of thinking the switch the switch is built like that that's just a line diagram this is how the switch is actually built so one goes to two three goes to four five goes to six and seven goes to eight i call it a crossover switch i don't know what the right name is a rotary switch i guess just for real world reference there's the one there's the two there's the seven, seven, and the eight, and the six, and the four, and so forth. So pay attention to that when you're wiring the switch. Antonio and I are using IMOs like they're going out of style. Oh, you dropped the screws. Un pecado muy grande. There you go. Where's that? So we got three IMOs on this, on the house, or on the mech room, and then we got far away in the distance way way far away we've got the imos that are on the solar array which i'll show you basically what we like to do is a chase nipple and a myers hub wham myers hub or weather tight hub is nice because it has a gasket on it so when you put it down there on the, like that and the gasket falls out and you put it down there like that the gasket seals it real tight like and it's got a really heavy duty wire nut on it or really heavy duty lock nut once we get the imos up and yeah i've got three imos on 12 inches of strut fits just fine once we get the imos up we're sticking these channel nuts in and we are putting them attached to the rail is it beautiful okay paso Oh yeah. 
Antonio's got his IMOs all put together. And guys, when we put these IMOs up, we put a little gasket right here. I know that's kind of nuts, but why not, you know? It's a quarter 20 screw, just get a quarter, quarter inch gasket for a roofing screw. Now we are bolting the switch to the back of the housing. The screws are very easy to lose and they're a very weird screw. Look at Antonio, a seasoned installer. He knows the definition of tight. And then there's how we bring the wires down into the uh, pull box. We come off the PV array, take it through a weather head. The uh, top fitting's called a weather head and go down into the pull box. Uh, we bring the PV wires into the IMO and then we transition to whatever we're pulling back to the inverter. What's up guys, I'm Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. I'm a licensed electrician and a NAPSEP certified solar PV installer in Northeast Georgia. If you're looking for design, sales, installation on your next solar job, don't hesitate to contact me. I'd love to sell you the material and talk you through your job for free. So if you buy a Solark or you buy batteries or an inverter, you do a significant purchase with me, the, uh, all the technical support comes directly from me and is free for the duration of your project. So I just wanted to throw that out there, folks. Seems to be that people really like the help they get.